the rope like this over here. Oops. And then it comes to me like an epiphany. Yes, it's over. live at the Downing Grove Center on the Ella Fitzgerald Theater with Miss Chrisette Michelle. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. So I gotta start off. How did you get into the music industry? Church. Um, Mom was a choir director, so I was always uh, holding on to her cocktails uh, at any choir rehearsal or any kind of musical thing that she was doing. I always wanted to be a part of it. Tell me some of your inspiration for your first album. Inspiration for my first album came from a bazillion places because I had a very uh, rich cultural upbringing. Uh, I was studying jazz, vocal jazz performance. Ella Fitzgerald was my idol. Um, I had gospel upbringing, so uh, is this the way love feels? Very gospely in the way that I sang it. Uh, and then, of course, I had to sing R&B because I was signed to Def Jam, so you had If I Had My Way, which was written for uh, Mary J. Blige by me, uh, and I ended up singing it. So what you hear on the album is a demo. It's cold, love will stay strong when the fight gets old. Love is a shoulder to lean on, love is you. Love's like the water when the well runs dry. Quench my thirst, keep me alive. Just need a one sip, baby. Love is you, love is you, love is you. Love is you. And I saw you perform uh, Golden on VH1 Soul Stage. Mm. That song seems to really hit home to you. Tell me why that's so important to you. So what had happened was, right, I had really wrote this song about a guy who I was digging. Mm -hmm. And I sang it for him at this jazz place in New York City, the village on the ground. And then uh, we weren't together anymore after a while. And so on the soul stage, I said, this song is written about my parents who have been married for 27 years. <laughs> and <laughs> it's a little crap. But I do honor their marriage and their union, and I'm very proud of them. So uh, I, I dedicate it to them. I said, no typical American How does it feel to actually perform at the Ella Fitzgerald Theater today? Uh, it's weird. Uh, my dream is to play her in a movie. That's my dream. Uh, I love Ella Fitzgerald. I love the culture that she uh, helped to facilitate in America. Uh, her Billie Holiday, Sarah Vaughan. So being here is an honor. And I hope that uh, people understand that I'm not just joking around when I, you know, talk about jazz greats like her. I have a few idols. One of my idols is Sarah Vaughan. Another one is, yeah, Billie Holiday. But one of the reasons, especially while I came to come and hang out with you all today is because of my love for Ella Fitzgerald. I really think she's incredible. I went to college, and at college I studied vocal jazz performance. And one of the main people who I watched every day on the screen and listened to every single riff and tried to be just like was Ella Fitzgerald. So before I leave today, I think I'd be amiss if I didn't pay some tribute to the wonderful Mrs. Ella Fitzgerald.
And this song is called A Train. This song is called A Train, grown folks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 